In this video, we'll see how to use MATLAB's Inverse Kinematic Designer app to effectively plan your robot movement. Planning your manipulator's movement requires knowing the joint angles that correspond to the end effector's position. This is obtained by utilizing Inverse Kinematics which solves for the joint angles with any constraints set by the user. This process is made easier with MATLAB's Inverse Kinematic Designer app and the app also allows the user to teach and visualize the motion in simulation instead of using a real robot which increases downtime. To get started, let's open the app and import a robot model from the available list by clicking on New Session. You can also import your custom robot if you have the URDF file. For now, let's choose the Universal UR5e robot. Once the robot is imported, it shows up on the scene canvas and use options such as rotate 3D to move around and scroll to zoom in and out. The next step is to set up the scene. This can be done with collision boxes and I have some saved in my workspace. You can create your own by using the collision box command as shown here. You can set the position of the box by using the pose argument. More information on collision boxes can be found in the description. For this video, we'll look at the robot configuration to pick up an object from the part feeder shown here and place it on the box here. You can move the robot arm by dragging these axes. The red, green and blue correspond to the X, Y and Z axis. To get it to the part feeder, you can get the position of the object by clicking on it and then use the add constraint option and choose post constraint to directly enter the position values. Adjust the rotation angle which is 45 degrees in X and rotate 180 degrees along Y so it is facing the right direction. Once the robot is in the desired position, we can check for any collision by clicking on check collision. The collisions are highlighted in red and we can see that the robot body is colliding with the station base. To address this, let's add a Cartesian constraint. In the Constraints tab, select Cartesian bounds which shows the constraint option and a box in dotted lines to better visualize it. Here we want the forearm link to not extend as far as the feeder base. So we'll select forearm link in the end effector body and reduce the Y max to 0.35 and increase Z max to 1 since we don't have any restriction in that axis. You can also set the Z weight to 0 if you want to ignore that axis completely. Applying this configuration should automatically recalculate in your position. If not, you can hit refresh solver or try playing with solver parameters to see if a suitable joint configuration can be found. We'll then use the graphical interface to slightly pull the end effector off the feeder so there is a gap. Now that the robot is in position, we'll check for collision and since there are no collisions, we'll save this configuration as pickup by clicking on store configuration. Before we place the part on the box, let's move the robot to an intermediate position and save that. This is because it is easier to plan a path if you have more waypoints that are closer to each other. To do this, uncheck the Cartesian constraint since we don't need it anymore and use an aiming constraint which makes the end effector point at a particular point in space. And we'll check for collision and save this point as inter. To place the part on the box, let's uncheck the aiming constraint and use the post constraint to directly enter the location of the box. As before, we'll have to flip the y-axis so it is pointing at the right direction. Once again, we'll check for collision and then save this configuration as place. Now you can use the slider to snap through different waypoints to see if they make sense. These configurations and solder settings can then be exported to the workspace to plan your robot path. 
The app makes it easier to plan your manipulator movements by doing all the math of the inverse kinematics in the backend and the user can focus on the application. More information on path planning and how to use these waypoints can be found in the links given in the description. Hope you guys enjoy the video.